This week I'm going to show you a, a quick update of the work that I've been doing on the throttle. Welcome to another episode. So I've been uh, kind of ignoring some of my other projects and the reason I've been doing that is because the group of us who are working on the throttle that I showed last week are going to be getting together at TCS headquarters in Pennsylvania uh, in about a month. So I'd like to get a lot of things done before we get together. And that means I'll probably be getting to my, back to my other projects uh, after I get back from that trip. So this time I'm going to be showing a couple uh, features uh, and I'd really love to get your feedback on those features. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, have a look. So if you'll recall last time, um, the screen would turn off fairly quickly after I, I did something to it. Uh, also, the screen is really bright, so I'd like to change those two settings in the throttle. So now what I'm going to do is I'll click on the LC, Open LCB menu and say Configure Nodes. Now if you look here, there's a node that says uh, TCS 112 Dev Throttle. That's my throttle. And if I click on Open Configuration, it's going out right now to collect uh, all the data on the throttle about what uh, values can be changed and more information about that. And you can see there's quite a bit here, but uh, there are a couple that I'm interested in. Uh, one is this one here, which is how long the backlight is on um, in the main window. So I'll change this to 30 seconds, and when I click right, like this, and then go back here to the throttle, you can see now it's staying on. So it'll be on for 30 seconds. The other one I can change is I can change this uh, brightness. So right now it's set to maximum brightness. Let me try about 100 and see what that looks like. So I'll go ahead and write this. And you'll see the brightness changed immediately. That's a uh, pretty cool thing about this. Let's uh, start with the uh, release. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is turn the sound back on so that you can uh, sort of see what's going on. So you can see that uh, with the sound on, I can uh, turn the bell on and off, which is what you would expect. To release the locomotive, I press the menu key, and then uh, scroll down to release, press select, and then you can see I have the option either release or dispatch. I'll select release, and you can see at this point we no longer have control of the locomotive. One of the features I'd like to get your feedback on is something called steel, or in particular in this case, auto steel. Steel is a feature that's available in Digitrax throttles that allows you to take ownership away from another throttle. So what I want to do is show you first uh, what the steel functionality is about and then show you the solution I've come up with right now and see what you think. Right now I have the Digitrax throttle set up so it's controlling uh, 346 and you can see that if I press here you can hear the sound turns on. If I then try to select that locomotive from uh, engine driver, it comes up with this dialog box and says steel address L346, yes, no. If I say no, then nothing will happen. So I don't have the locomotive. If I go back and say yes, now I can do things such as turn the sound on and off and control the locomotive. So that's what the steel functionality is. Uh, steel, as I understand it, is something that exists with uh, Digitrax and you're not actually stealing it uh, because it means that both the original throttle and the Y throttle device can control it at the same time. So let me show you uh, what I've done with that uh, feature on our throttle and I'd love to hear what you think. So now I'll go over to the, over here, select it on the Digitrax throttle. I'm gonna turn the sound off, but uh, at this point, I now have control from here. The next thing I'll show you is the auto steal. For that, if you select the locomotive, oops, this one here, and we select 346 again, uh, it knows that this had the, uh, the locomotive. And the way steel works with JMRI is they can actually both control the locomotive. So here I'll turn the sound on, turn it off, and then I'll go over here and. I can turn it on and off as well. So it's really not stealing it from the other throttle. It just means the two have the ability to use them, but it means that 
you don't have to explicitly say, yes, I want to steal it to be able to control it. I don't know whether that's a good thing or bad. I'd love to hear from you guys as to whether you think that's a good thing or whether people should always uh, be asked, do you want to steal the locomotive or if it should be an option. That's what I've been up to for the last week, week and a half. I'd love to get your feedback, see what you guys like and don't like, see what you think we should change. You can either comment on the Model Railroad Hobbyist blog where I'm going to post this video or down below in the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Please uh, click the thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. See you next time. Mm -hmm.